heaven. Hear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Very clear, to the point. It doesn't really need much explanation. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu. Hal adullukum ala tijaratin. Tunjikum min adabin alim. Allah says, O believers, and he addresses those who believe in Allah, the believers. Hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adabin alim. Allah says, do you want me to show you a bargain? And the word tijara, you know, I think in Urdu you call a businessman a tajir. In Arabic you call him a tajir too. A businessman, a merchant, someone who does business, buying, selling business. Whether and however we want to translate that in today's time. Your profession, your occupation, your business. According to the commentators of the Quran and the Mufassirin, your profession, your occupation, your business. Hear what Allah says. Ya yuhalladheena amanu hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adabin alim. Do you want me to show you a profession, a business that will save you from a dreadful punishment, an azab, a grievous penalty. Very simple. You want me to put you into a business or show you a business that will save you? Tu'minuna billah. Tu'minuna billahi wa rasulihi. وَتُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَتُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ That you believe in Allah and you believe in his Rasul. Obey the laws of the Quran and follow the life and example of the Prophet. What to jahi do na fi sabilallah bi amwalikum wa anfusikum. And that you strive and you spend from your wealth and yourself in the path of Allah. Dhalikum khairul lakum in kuntum ta'alamu. Number one point. That is best for you, if only you know, says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So beautiful. Hear what he says. Do you want me to show you a business, a profession, an occupation that will save you from a grievous penalty, from punishment? Comes that we Muslims were sent with a mission. And we have a job and a duty that should make us different to the rest of the world. Not be a big show and like a bunch of idiots can't even run your own country and sometimes I worry they can't even run these little countries they want to come and run America. Oh boy. What's going to happen here? Can't even use the Quran and Hadith to understand what's going on. Because of our own problems. Come on, let's think, man. Allah does not give no one more burden than they can bear. And when good comes to us, yes, it comes from the mercy of Allah. When bad, because Allah has written good and mercy for us. But when bad and harm comes to us, it's sometimes by our own doing from our own hands. Unless, if we really do what we're supposed to do and do our duty to Allah, then there may be trials. I have spoken about that a few weeks ago. Trials and musibat and some difficulties are tests and trials to put us in a better situation. Like Joseph or Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. Like Moses, like Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. We used those examples two weeks ago. The trials and the test that is a means that Allah wants to elevate us. But not only do things to destroy ourselves. So Allah is saying here that here is a business, here is a way, here is an occupation. This is what we should get ourselves occupied in. Not gossip and trying to be the news reporters and trying to be family investigators and trying to... 
interpret other things and what's going on here and there and then we commit sin no that's why the quran here is a guide for us allah says you have a mission there are a lot of people just sit back waiting for problems and then they're going to try to try to correct the problems why don't we preach and do what allah has told us to do hear what he says the best occupation and profession that we can get ourselves involved that will save us from the fire of hell and if it will save us from the fire of hell which is the worst fire the worst disaster the worst punishment it will definitely save us from the problems of this world problems of this world is nothing to the hell fire problems of this world is nothing to the hell fire so if we get involved in what Allah has really sent us in this world to do, Allah will make things easy for us, inshallah. And not only did he say, ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ If only you know that is the best for you. It's Allah who's saying that. ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ Chapter 61, verse 11. Then he continues now in addition to that. And hear what he says. يَغْفِرَ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَيُدْخِلْكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ وَمَسَاكِنَ تَيِّبَةً فِي جَنَّاتِ عَدْنَ ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ In addition to saying that that, is, that should be our occupation, that should be our profession, that is what we should occupy ourselves in to be saved from the punishment of hell and which will help us in this world and give us the good in this world and the good in the hereafter he says that when we spend time and spend our money and our wealth in the path of allah in the path of allah propagating the message of allah that is best for us and in addition to that allah says and he will forgive us our sins one and he will enter cause us to enter into jannah subhanallah with beautiful mansions subhanallah that is indeed allah says that is what is called supreme achievement and success that's the mission that we were chosen for and we were sent as muslims that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat linnas. Ta'amaruna bil maruf wa tanhawna anil munkar. That this ummah has been chosen for the world to enjoin good and forbid evil. And if we all don't get involved, we, I always tell myself and I tell you that and I remind myself and I remind you, Muslims are not supposed to be a bunch of sleepers. Just come to Juma Khutbah because we want to save ourselves from going to hell. It's just a cultural, ritualistic thing to go for Juma. Or just pray Salah. That's. Everybody else pray. You know, the statistics have proven that America, more than 90% are worshippers of God, believes in a God. There are a lot of people in the world pray. Don't think we alone pray. You got a lot of synagogues and churches and people worshiping. But in addition to praying and fasting, we got a bigger job to spend time. And don't be a bunch of selfish worshippers. We only praying for our own paradise. We only praying for our own to be saved from hell. We only praying for ourselves. No, Allah says, spend your time and yourself to spread the message of Islam, and He will forgive us and save us from hell, and He will cause us to enter Jannah. You don't even have to ask to go to paradise. He will give you paradise. Do you know that? The Prophet ﷺ says the synopsis of one hadith is, If a person occupies himself so much in the Quran, the learning, the teaching, the spreading, the message of the Quran, the Prophet ﷺ says that Allah will grant him more than those people who ask. You know the guy who's only asking for paradise and asking for forgiveness and ain't doing anything? The person who spreads, who learns the Quran, teaches the Quran and spreads the message of the Quran, Allah will give him without him having to ask. And the hadith even gone, went so far to say, 
And even if he doesn't ask, and he doesn't have the time to ask, Allah will give him more than those people who sit here making dua holy. That's what the Prophet is saying. Because we have a mission. And that is to enjoin good and forbid evil and spread the message of this Quran.